What's up, YouTube? John Gotti here. Today I'll be teaching you how to render on Vegas Pro 11. And before I do that, I just want to clear up a couple things. A lot of people have been asking me when they're um, editing their clips, they're experiencing lag on their computer or lag on their preview screen. While the thing I tell people is buy an external hard drive, make sure your computer's clean, take all your photos and all your music and all your video clippings and put them on an external hard drive. That way your computer is free from all that clutter and your computer's performance should run a lot better. Now on Sony Vegas, it's known for having a little lag, but not drastic lag where you're like, oh my God, my video is like this shot. I can't edit it. All right, so what I'm going to tell you to do is um, go here to your uh, preview screen and put it at draft and go to half. It might not look as clear as full, but you'll be able to edit your video. Now if I go down here to my timeline and I move right and left, you can see there's no lag. I can stop here, I can move back, I can stop, you know, same thing, move back and forth, stop, back, and that's no lag at all. Um, so like if you're doing a montage, you have your scene one, your clip one, and your clip two. And I'm going to teach you right now how to fade into scene two from clip one. A lot of people just grab their clips and disconnect them. And what that does it just goes from scene one to scene two without any fade in or fade out, whatever. And it don't look good at all. So what I'm going to teach you to do right now is you grab your clip and you just drag it. Now you see where it says one second. That's what you want to see. Or if you don't see that, just use common sense and just drag the clip into scene one and just know that you're actually fading scene one into scene two. But see, if you see this one second, you're going to know that your clip one is going to fade into clip two, which gives it that fade in look to the next scene, which is real nice. All right, now, um, another thing is a lot of people like going like a, a fade out to the next scene. All right, so what you do is you go to the end of your clip here, and you see a fade offset on the top of your, at the top of your little clip right there. So just go to the very top, tap and drag in a little bit maybe yeah maybe like there you go and get your next clip and just connect it now what that's going to do is it's going to go from scene one fade into scene two fade out of scene two to, uh, to scene three all right now at the ending of your montage on your video it's professional if you actually just fade it out now what you want to do is just do the same thing now, with your audio, you want to do the same thing. Okay. Now, see, at the end of, at the end of your clip now, you're going to notice it's going to fade out the uh, video, and it's going to fade out the audio. So, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to render it, and I'm going to give you the settings. And before I do that again, I'm going to give you my settings project settings for Vegas Pro 11 and if you want you could copy them down they are real good settings and I highly recommend you using them and the reason why I have it at 59.940 double NTC is because an HD PVR records at 60 frames per second and you want your video frames to keep up okay and after you do that, you, put, you click Apply, and then you click OK. And what you want to do after you do that, you want to tap the end of your video, and you'll see these little, little like yellow triangles. And those are your loops. So you want to put one at the end, and you want to drag the other one to the beginning of your video. So you have the whole video marked. All right. Now, what we're going to do is render. Now, if you notice on... Vegas 11, it's a lot, it's a lot different than Vegas 10, Vegas 9. So what you want to do now is, you'll see all these here, and you're probably like, whoa, what's going on? They now have drop-down bars. Now what you want to do is the main concept, ABC slash AAC MP4. Drop-down. And when you do the drop down, you'll see an eight, uh, HD YouTube. Now, 
if you click customize template you'll see that it's at 1280 by 720 and you guys could copy down these settings and if it don't say 1280 by 720 you could you could type it in yourself make sure you include videos checked Then you want to go to your project and make sure your uh, video rendering quality is at best. And on top here, you can actually type in your name, your gamer tag, or whatever you want. Click here to save your template. So every time you want to come back and use this, you can just do the drop down bar. And your title should be right there anywhere you saved it. And after you do that, you want to click OK. Make sure this is checked. And before you do that, you want to title it. So we'll title this BF3 Tut. And click render. 